Hello and welcome to the Caravan World Towing Test. I'm Philip Lord. Today we're doing a towing test on a Mahindra pickup double cab ute. Let's hitch it up and see how well it tows. The Mahindra is a pretty basic ute. It first arrived in Australia two years ago. It's built in India and uh, it's built by a concern called Mahindra and Mahindra. They're a big company. They, uh, in, they're into all sorts of stuff in India. They, uh, they're into IT, shipping, huge company. And they also build trucks and four-wheel drives. The Mahindra pickup is the first of a series of uh, Mahindra vehicles that are supposed to be coming to Australia soon. They've got a paper mover and also an SUV wagon, four-wheel drive wagon, which they, they plan to import. This vehicle has a two and a half litre turbo diesel engine and it is fairly low in its outputs compared to the opposition. Having said that, the torque off the mark is pretty good. So it, uh, it's nice and responsive down low at low speeds. Really nice. No sensation of lag so much as uh, some of its competitors. And while it doesn't really like to rev, you can get it out to 4,000 RPM and shift up and, and get it to move along fairly well. The gearbox is a bit rough. It's based on an old Peugeot unit. And it reminds me of a 504 wagon I used to drive many years ago in that you need a dog leg second to third gear change. Uh, otherwise, you can easily miss third. Having said that, again, it's, it's not by any means the best gearbox in the world, but once you get used to it, it's not too bad. The interior is reasonably it's pretty good. Look, I mean, the thing about it is that it's um, it's a five-seater. It's big. It's really big. You put three blokes across the back seat there, no problem at all. Um, you've got all your luxuries here with uh, a CD player, with MP3 and auxiliary jack, air conditioning. And with this upgrade that uh, Mahindra's just done to the ute, the pickup, it's got uh, dual airbags and ABS brakes, as well as a facelifted nose, new gear leaf, and a few other bits and pieces. It's great value. At under, just under thirty thousand dollars. There's nothing else that I can think of that is as good value. Perhaps the D22 Navara, but um, it's debatable whether the D22 is any better than this Mahindra. Certainly, it's a really tough vehicle. It feels really solid underneath. Well, it seems really solid underneath, and I've taken it off road plenty of times now, and um, it'll keep up with the best of them. This is not the first time Mahindra has uh, been sold in Australia. The Indian Concern had uh, a very much a Jeep style vehicle on sale here in the early 90s, but it didn't take off. So the brand was reintroduced about two years ago with this pickup yet. And this model has just been refreshed with a facelifted uh, dual cab and single cab models now available. There are no mechanical changes with this ute, but it does pick up new nose, uh, ABS brakes and airbags which were not available before. When we hitched up the 1800 kilo tandem axle van, the, uh, it had about 120 to 130 kilo ball weight, so it's fairly light on the ball. So of course um, the rear of the vehicle only dropped about 10 millimetres and uh, the front um, rose by about 7 millimetres, really hardly much at all. In terms of towing stability, the Mahindra really uh, does okay, but there were a few crosswinds and it did twitch around a little bit and also got caught a little in the wash of semi trailers passing us. So I think you might find that. This is one of the vehicles that might actually do, do well with uh, a decent amount of ball weight and the use of load levelers. In terms of uh, performance when towing, the Mahindra really does lack the figures, the outputs that you need. The two and a half litre common rail turbo diesel engine doesn't have great outputs. On paper, you can see that it's several kilowatts and newton meters down on the competitors, except for perhaps the D22 Navara. How that translates on the road? Well, at low RPM, this thing is nice and responsive off the mark. It's not bad. It'll lug along quite comfortably where others will stall in its class. 
having said that, of course, if you really want some get up and go, Mahindra hasn't got a whole lot of it to on offer. Mahindra's not bad on fuel, fuel consumption when you're towing. It doesn't exactly um, set the world on fire, but you know, you can average around the 14 litres per 100 mark, give or take, when you're towing about 1800 kilos as we were. I think you find that um, it's by no means the fastest thing in the world. But if you need a vehicle that's, that's bush basic, it's relatively easy to drive. It's a pretty good choice. You sit nice and high in the Mahindra. It seats a little bit flat. It's supportive enough in all the right places, but I think you might find after a few hours on the road you'd, uh, you'd want to get out for a bit of a break. This is a pretty basic ute. It's the sort of thing I remember driving 10 to 15 years ago. Having said that, not everyone wants the most sophisticated car-like ute on the market. And if that's, if that's what you want, you just want a basic ute, then I think you'd be pretty happy with one of these. It's, um, it's new, it's got ABS, air, ABS brakes and airbags. It's got a decent warranty. But it's not overly complex, and it's not, uh, they haven't lightened up on um, core components like this, the underpinnings to, um, to make it lighter and more car-like. So in other words, it's pretty good off-road, it hasn't got the best ride, it's pretty, pretty sharp riding actually compared to the opposition, but other than that, it's a good thing. I'm Philip Law, thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.